So Elon Musk has banned several prominent journalists on Twitter in what some are referring to as the Thursday Night Massacre because a lot of people were banned and a lot of them were really big accounts and it's kind of a big deal. So the excuse that he used for uh, why he banned these people is that they were doxing him, which in reality, that's not the case. And, and we'll get into that. If anything, you could say the person who was actually doxing him was the Elon Jet account, the, the Twitter user who posts uh, real-time information on uh, the activities of Elon's private jet and the private jets of several uh, very important, uh, very rich people like Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, uh, etc. So you could make the argument that that's doxing, but this is publicly available information, right? Every private jet, and every 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 public jet, even every uh, commercial passenger airliner, is is tracked, and its location is public information because apparently, if uh, your plane goes missing, that's a pretty big deal, right? Especially you know after the whole 9/11. <laughs> things that happened, right? Nobody wants to lose track of any airplanes, so it's publicly available. And as for doxing, um, Elon's addresses are, are also public information, right? Elon claims to be sleeping at Twitter HQ because he's just such a hard worker, right? He, he, he uh, made the same claim about uh, sleeping on the floor of uh, uh, Tesla's factory and SpaceX's factory because, you know, he's just so dedicated. He just can't, he just won't leave his place of work because he's just such a hardworking, uh, genius inventor kind of guy, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, that's the image he liked to cultivate for himself, at least. So, Elon said that he would not ban this account about a month ago. He said that, you know, he's just so committed to free speech that he will not ban anyone unless they explicitly break the law. And, you know, doxing technically is not against the law, and posting publicly available information definitely isn't against the law. I guess you could say, I'm not sure if doxing is actually against the law, actually. It's, um, it is definitely frowned upon, and I think you can get banned for it, but what was happening wasn't doxing. And many of the prominent journalists that got banned definitely weren't doxing, right? What they were doing was, you know, posting links to the accounts that, like, did track, you know, public information like Elon Jet and a lot of, like, big accounts, even accounts that were just talking about the events that were happening, right? So all this started when, uh, Elon claims that someone was stalking a car that contained his two-year-old son, XAEA12, that he had with Grimes, right? He calls him Lil X. I thought like, oh, was, was this a rapper or something? Was this Lil Nas? But no, it was, it was his two-year-old son. So if this is true, Elon says um, this car was stalked and it was blocked from moving by... Um, some person if it's true that, that then that is bad right that is really creepy nothing really happened of course but it is it is disturbing to think that like someone's stalking your your child right but like he uses this as an excuse to just to just go off and honestly this all really goes back to when I think he was booed at Dave Chappelle's show uh, just a few days ago. Now it feels like so long ago already, right? So I didn't talk about this at the time because I didn't think it was that important. I mean, it was funny, right? I enjoyed, <laughs> I enjoyed uh, learning the news and seeing it actually happen, right? It was, it was big news, right? It was, yeah, it was very gratifying to see Elon like, you know, nervously just wandering around the stage, uh, like, uh, while people just booed him. 
at he at one point he asked J Dave Chappelle, uh, "What should I say?" And uh, Dave Sh Dave is like, "Yeah, don't say anything. Uh, you'll spoil the moments." Um, and Dave is like trying to like get a hold of the crowd, like trying to talk him down, like I don't know, make light of the situation at first, saying like, "Hey, it seems like uh, you know, it seems like some of those people you fired are in the audience, Elon." And then saying. Um, you know, just pointing out, pointing out the obvious, uh, the people who are booing have terrible seats. <laughs> and then he was just like, oh, come on. Those, those people who are booing, would you just shut the fuck up? Like, you never do that. No, you never, you never, like, get angry, right? Or you never express your anger, because that's, that's a win for the other side, right? That's how, that's how they know that they're getting to you, right? So, yeah, big... L for Elon, possibly the biggest L that he's taken, right, until this moment, which is, now this, uh, the Thursday Night Massacre is possibly his biggest L ever, right, so, you could tell that it really got to Elon too, because he was cope posting about it for at least two days afterwards. And it hasn't really stopped, and it culminated in, in, in you know, all these, these bannings, right? So I think that's why, like, this is at the root of, of what's happening now, right? I mean, all of this has been building up ever since he bought Twitter, right? Everyone knew that he was going to turn into some authoritarian, like, uh, techno baron of, of Twitter. That he was going to turn it into his personal little online fiefdom of only like his his supporters who paid eight dollars for a blue check mark. Everyone knew that uh, Twitter was gonna go down the drain, but like now it's like it seems like it's actually happening. Like Elon is just is just changing the rules to to suit him at 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 his whim, right? He is uh, making up excuses to ban people he doesn't like, and and yet yeah, it seems like it, things have, are starting to reach a breaking point, right? So let's get into it. All this started on December 14th, two days ago, when Elon Musk posted, any account doxing at real-time location of anyone will be suspended as it is a physical safety violation. This includes posting links to site with real-time location info. This is referring to the Elon Jet account, which was banned uh, off Twitter and some other, some other uh, sites. Posting locations someone traveled to on a slightly delayed basis isn't a safety problem, so is okay. So... That's an interesting distinction that he made there, right? It's like... Right, so he says, Last night, car carrying Little X in LA was followed by Crazy Stalker thinking it was me who later blocked car from moving and climbed onto Hood. Legal action is being taken against Sweeney and organizations who supported Harm to My Family. So Sweeney is... Yeah, the 20-year-old uh, computer programmer, the Giga Chad, who is running the Elon Jet account. In the the jet tracker account that is uh, tracking multiple jets. I mean, again, this is publicly available information. The most that he's doing is like presenting it in an easily consumable, easy to find way, right? If anyone actually like wanted to track down Elon's jet, I mean, they could they could go into like the the database of uh of aircraft uh locations to, to to look at that themselves and if they really wanted to find them uh it would it would be pretty easy for them to do so okay so elon jet does track the real-time private plane usage of elon musk as well as like well jack sweeney track has several accounts like this tracking uh several different planes because you know it's a uh, it would be like good to know like where all the uh the important people are at like i mean there are all sorts of reasons you might want to know if anything it could be like public shaming right like like uh it's a thing right like pointing out uh private jet usage because uh it's very bad for the environment right like 
if you take like a short flight that could have been a car ride it's like you're wasting so much fuel for just for what like to fly one person to save one person like one or two hours of travel time right so and it's interesting i guess it's interesting to know like where everyone is at it's not necessarily doxing so anyways the account is hosted on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, Truth Social, Mastodon, and formerly on Twitter. So it's not like uh, banning this account on Twitter is going to do anything, right? They say le uh, legal action is being taken against Sweeney, uh, Elon says over here. But yeah, what legal action <laughs> is there to take, right? Like this is publicly available data. So in a funny story, Great in June 2020 has been targeting Musk since the beginning of 2021, offered to... Musk offered to pay Sweeney 5000 to take the account down. Sweeney countered the requesting 50000 or an internship in one of Musk's companies. I think that's really funny, like... And offered advice on restricting flight tracking data. Oh, so you, you can do that. Okay, so... Seems like, uh... Elon did not take that advice to heart. Or it's not really possible. I think it's funny, like... <laughs> Yeah, I'll take this. I'll take this account down if you if you let me work for you. If uh, if I if I get a job, well, it says internship, so that's not that's not much. But like fifty thousand dollars, again, to the world's richest man, fifty k shouldn't be that much. So, in May twenty twenty two, after Musk purchased Twitter, he announced he would not be on the Elon Jet account. The account was restricted in December and then blocked, along with Sweeney's personal and other flight tracking accounts. And, and part of what is known as the Thursday Night Massacre. Yeah, this is already uh, already a part of Wikipedia. This is already in the history books. The Thursday Night Massacre makes it seem like a lot worse than it actually is. But it is still pretty bad, right? But the term massacre <laughs> to refer to like a bunch of bands is funny. So yeah, and what doxing is occurring here? The most you can say that they're doing is they're they're, they're broadcasting like what city or what the broad location that you're in, right? It shows like which airport you came from and which airport you went to. Right? So, and if you were, if you really wanted to get to Musk, like you could, you, you don't need this, uh, this flight tracking app to do it, right? You could look into it yourself. So anyway. After Musk says that any account doxing real-time location of info of anyone will be suspended as it is a physical safety violation, he then proceeds to literally dox the, this person who he claims is the one following, following his son, the car his son was in. Yeah, for sure. Gotcha. What's your name? What is being said? What's your name? So oh, yeah, uh, showing the uh, license plate here. Oh, can I show this? I mean, it's on it's on Twitter, so like showing the license plate number, the whole the whole ass plate right here, and showing the guy. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. Gotcha. What's your name? Gotcha. What's your name? So they're both recording each other. This guy. Sure. Some are saying this guy's Antifa. He just looks like a ninja to me. Like, is anyone like dressed in all black with a mask on a, a, a member of Antifa now? Are they a member of the the Antifa Super Soldier Squad, or or, or are they just uh, is Antifa now what they call any like left wing? I don't know activist. So. So Elon claims that the, this guy was following the car and blocked the car from moving and climbed onto the hood. So that is, yeah, that is threatening, but like nothing actually bad was really done. I mean, blocking the car, climbing onto the hood, yeah, that's, that's threatening, but like... If anything, this seems like it's, it's IRL trolling, right? It's yet. 
making people like Elon scared of of their like family safety, but like uh, again, it's bad. Like this shouldn't have been done, especially now that this this incident has been become the catalyst for all of these these uh these bannings, the Thursday night massacre. Yeah, and this guy says it's Antifa. Big and bold within his mask, though it's not his Fauci pandemic mask. This goddamn Fauci pandemic masks. But one, to hide his identity because he's not man enough to show his terrorist face in public. Okay, first of all, terrorist? Terrorist is a pretty strong word. I'm pretty sure this guy would not, uh... Would not like, uh... Terrorist to be used to refer to the, uh... Those armed protesters at uh, at drag events, right? But this guy, this guy's a terrorist following Elon Musk's kid's car around. Again, like, there's no video of anything bad actually happening. Like, the video is of the guy. It shows the guy and and his license plate, and that's that's about it. Yeah, again, this, it's good that this guy was wearing a mask, because, like... <laughs> Because, like, Elon is calling on his 120 million followers to, like, identify this guy. This is actual doxing, right? Now this guy's probably going to have to get rid of this car. Because, uh... Everyone's going to be looking for this, uh... This car with this license plate on it, right? So this is, like, this is actual doxing. Yeah, this guy was lucky he, uh... He had his mask on. Right, when this guy started recording. Yeah, for sure. Gotcha. Yeah, what is that what is the guy holding the camera even saying? Like, uh pretty sure pretty sure that you're got you're the guy who was talking to me or what? Yeah, so <laughs> This guy's wearing a mask because like he doesn't want to be actually doxxed to uh, Elon Musk's uh insane fan base who would like harass him nonstop, right? It's not his Fauci pandemic mask. Yeah, as opposed to the masks worn by Oath Keepers, Proud Boys, and 3%. All, all those, uh, those right-wing militia types. Yeah, they, they all wear masks in public because they know if their, if their identities were revealed, they would be docked, or... They wouldn't, they wouldn't have to fear for their lives, but they would have to fear for, you know, losing their jobs, right, and being publicly shamed. It's not like left-wing activists are going to... Maybe they do send death threats and harassment, but they... They do not cause people to fear for their lives in the same way that uh, right-wing... right-wingers do. Yeah, it's Antifa. Look at this man. That's Antifa, brother. It's gotta be. Yeah, and this guy says, you don't even know what Antifa is, and... <laughs> You access Liberty Captain says Antifa is a terrorist group, so yeah. Any any evidence that this guy's a member of any uh left wing uh radical group? He's being called Antifa because he's dressed in all black and he's wearing a mask. That's literally it. Right? <laughs> it's not like that's the Antifa uniform, right? A lot of people can wear all black and wear a mask. I mean plenty of people wear masks to you know, conceal their identity, it's a... And wearing masks is fun. If uh, like this, if you uh, if you want to style it up, it's uh, it's pretty good. I I uh, I recommend it. So, anyways, so where the story gets interesting and what makes it seem like Elon's account of the story is not totally accurate is when he started banning journalists covering the story. So Donny O'Sullivan, who uh, was a pretty uh, good journalist who does a lot of good work for uh, CNN, I believe. He uh, tweets out, LAPD statement on alleged Musk in incident. LAPD's threat management unit is aware of the situation and tweet by Elon Musk and is in contact with his representatives and security team. No crime reports have been filed yet. So Donnie, my man, Donnie, look how they massacred my boy. He was one of the first victims to go in the Saturday, the Thursday night massacre. And then those reporting on the bans were themselves bans. Those who were tweeting like, hey, 
after they tweeted this, the account was suspended. They in turn got suspended. Those like uh, Matt Bender, who was a super cool guy. Right? I'm sad to see him go. Hopefully, uh, he'll be reinstated soon. So. He had not filed a report with the LAPD. So, yeah, if anything actually illegal occurred here, you the first thing you would do is, like, tell the police, right? Like, hello, 911, I'd like to report a crime if a crime was committed. And if you have the guy's license plate number, that's a pretty good piece of evidence you can use to find the guy and bring him to justice for whatever crimes may have been committed. Right? But instead of doing that, he's asking his, uh, he's tweeting out the video of the license plate number to hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people to see. And, uh, just asking, asking Twitter at large, like, hey, anyone recognize this person? Anyone seen this car around? Does anyone know whose car this is? Like, like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, it seems like... Yeah, the video did not show anything actually happening. You would think, like, if if the car is being followed, you would get some footage of the car, like, following the car. Or you would start filming when the car blocked your car, right? Yeah, if it's just following the car, then that would be creepy enough. Elon saying that, um, <laughs> saying that it's a security risk and that he's, they were posting assassination coordinates, making it sound much more serious than it is. Like, oh, they're trying to get me, <laughs> right? The, the woke, the woke mob is trying to assassinate me. Like, he's totally playing the victim, right? He's totally playing the victim so he can justify all the bad shit that he's doing. Also, this alleged incident happened nowhere near an airport, and Elon Jet's coordinates were not recent anyway. Oh, so it's not real time? Yeah, maybe it's not like real, real time where it's like. where it's like tracking the Jet's movements in real time. It could be that, like, the. after the flight occurs. The, the flight path is posted, right? But as I said, the most the most doxing that can be said to have happened is that like the the account says where the jet is at what approximate time. Which means that like that like it, it's showing what airport that you're at, right? No further location information is being conveyed there, right? So yeah, Elon Jet Tracker is uh, still on all the other sites like Facebook. It's popular now. This is literally the Streisand effect, right? Like, in trying to suppress information, you generate public interest. Like, oh, they're they're trying to hide this information. Wow, there, mu there must be something worth hiding then, right? So Musk complained about the flight tracker, brought Twitter, and explicitly called out the account and said he wouldn't ban it. Then he banned it, then unbanned it, did he? Hello. And then he banned it again, now he's filing a lawsuit. Yeah, what what lawsuit is like going to going to happen here? Like, this is publicly available information, right? Any of us at any time can do what the jet tracker account is doing. Yeah, this is all flight information is public and has gone through the courts and upheld under the first amendment oh so this this actually was already settled in a court of law nice elon musk cannot control the release of the information he's trying to do so anyways yeah he's banning accounts that are proliferating the information but like you can't make this information not public so yeah elon musk's jet says flew from la to austin last night right after my account was suspended from Twitter. Wait, does he say this guy flew from LA to Austin or Elon Musk's jet did? Because if 
if if he's talking about Elon Musk's jet, then maybe this is not in uh, real time because like he's saying that this picture is from last night. If anything, this like uh, ads. BEXexchange.com is that the the tracking website? Well, so ADSB Exchange is a whole uh is a whole community of flight tracking enthusiasts. I guess yeah, I guess this is a uh, a thing people are into, right? This is uh, a <laughs> this is just a uh, some people are just really into tracking flights. It's uh it's totally innocent, right? They even have a Discord server. Oh my gosh, I gotta check that out sometime, so. First and foremost, ADSB Exchange does not participate in the filtering performed by most other flight tracking websites, which do not share data on military or certain private aircraft. Ah, so ADSB is for the real fans, the real flight tracking fans who want uh, access to all the data. They don't, they're not some like woke website that, uh, that cancels you if you share the wrong information. Right? Because ADSB does not use any FAA data, they are, there are no FAA bar, LAD, military, or other filters, so-called filters, yeah, like, uh, like we need any of those, preventing you from seeing the data you collected. ADSB Exchange simply does not accept payment or requests to remove aircraft from public tracking, yeah, so. These are the real aircraft tracking enthusiasts right here. Yeah, Elon Musk can offer to pay however much money they uh, that he wants. They these guys will not accept because they are purists, right? They they are flight tracking purists. They are in the game not for money not for fame or notoriety, for the love of the game. Okay, can we see what this is really quickly? Page not found, cool. We are a community. The data we have comes from volunteers, which is supplied back to the community through APIs. Donations are greatly appreciated, as they're used to help cover the cost of infrastructure, archive, and all the great things we, we, we see on the website. So, tracking map, we can share data. Oh, hello. I wonder why it shows New York. Oh, well, these, these are all grounded planes. Wow, cool. Yeah, so it does look like this is real time because you can see the planes moving. Wow. Yeah, talk about the Streisand effect. I did not even know that flight tracking was such a thing. Oh my gosh, wait. This, this plane is different. Is this a private plane? Oh my gosh, you could see the path that it took. Wait, wait. Oh, right. Uh, the map is... Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, you can zoom out. Oh my god. Doxed. Oh wow, I literally just doxed the entire fucking planet. Good going. Whoa, wait, hold on. I doxed everyone on Earth. Like, one, two, three, four times over. Oh my god, I'm the worst villain in history. Oh my god, what have I done? I can't upload this video now. Cause like, this contains private information on every flight ever being taken. Oh my god. What have I done? What have I done? This is insane. This is cool though, there are like different colors and different shapes of the planes for like different kinds of planes, so... Total aircraft on screen. Oh, total aircraft in the war- wait. So like, this is like aircrafts taking off and landing so type code be58 let's block so yeah this is like a pro tiny private plane flown by like flying enthusiasts right are, are the gray planes on the grounds I think the color refers to the altitude uh, see this one is uh, ascending yeah this is JFK right and then it's taking off from JFK. Oh, this altitude 27,000 feet. This is 45,000 feet. Yeah, I think the color is altitude. Click on this, yeah. The shapes of the plane corresponds to the type of the plane. 
What kind of plane is this? I don't even know. Cool, so... Yeah, thanks to this whole thing, I might get into flight tracking myself. Look, you can see them all moving. That's so much fun. So cool, I love this. So yeah. If any of these planes were to mysteriously disappear from off the map, then that would be a major security issue, right? Because, like, that plane could be anywhere. It could be heading for the, uh, the One World Trade Center, the tallest building in America, in North America. Possibly, it's the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, am I, if I'm correct, right? If you count the spire, which you should, because it's a permanent part of the building, okay? Willis Tower may have, like, the highest room that is occupiable. But now we have the tallest building. So anyways, the this data might be real time. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see the altitude uh color uh color key down here. And you can see the, the flight path actually changes color on the way. That's so cool. I love it. So purple means it's flying high. At 40,000 plus feet. But if you look at this, uh, see, you can see the, uh, the color pattern here, too. Takes off and then stays high and then lands. You see here, he's posting a screenshot of the flight path from ADSB Exchange. Like, after it happened, and he says... He flew from LA to Austin last night. Which means... I wonder if we can find out if this is, uh... Is... Uh... If this is Elon's jet, can we see? Oh yeah, so Elon's jet is the Gulfstream G650, and it's... That's this jet right here, so yeah. 2015 Gulfstream G650, yeah. Imagine owning your own plane, like, rich people really do live in a whole different world than the rest of us peasants. Yeah, so... So, Elon Musk's jet is not even posting real-time information. He's posting what used to be real-time information from from the site. If, it's all, if you're on the site, then it's real-time information, but if it's just a screenshot from the site, he says, this happened last night. So, yeah. Elon Musk's jet themselves are not always posting, like, real-time information. I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't heard of this. I was not interested in this account very much. I heard about it before, when Elon was complaining about it, but I haven't looked into it until now. I genuinely don't care about this plane, but knowing that this bothers him is just wonderful. Yeah, that's what I'm, uh... That's what I like about this, right? That's what, uh... <laughs> I love that it bothers him. Keep up the good work, fellow. Oh, I, I know this page. I acknowledge psychedelic class warfare exists. They're a super cool page. So glad you are posting this here. Thank you. Yeah, so much for free speech. It is free speech. What are you what are you what are you talking about? Are you saying this is silencing trying to silence free speech? Yeah. No. Yeah, posting this is free speech. Oh, he's making fun of Musk for suspending the account on Twitter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. So anyways, that was a nice little tangent we went on there. Yeah, I might get into uh, flight tracking now because of this, this, whole, uh, this whole incident. All right, at least I know that it's a thing now. ADSB Exchange is a cool website. I know that now, right? So anyways, the... We are talking about it because the alleged incident happened nowhere near an airport and Elon Jet's coordinates were not recent anyways. Yeah, so, as we all know, we, all, we know now that Elon Jet's posts were not always real-time information. They could be a day or two late sometimes. So, yeah. And if something illegal had actually happened, they would file a report with the police 
but he goes on Twitter to actually dox the person in the car. So this is a pretext to attack critics, nothing more. And then the video was geolocated, which is a thing you can do now with the, the metadata in the video, right? Or something. Claiming to show a stalker which he used to justify the banning of accounts that tracked flights. It's at these coordinates not close to any airports, so... Yeah, the most doxing you could say that was happening is that, like, the the account is posting which airport he, he was last at and when. So, like, even that doxing would not uh, have any kind of effect. Right? Yeah, so... Uh-oh, no, this person is, uh... Doing the same thing that Donnie O'Sullivan did that got him banned, but I think Donnie is a big uh, journalist, so that's why he got banned. That's why he was singled out, right? So yeah, Elon Musk kept keeps saying that like, oh, if you dox, if you dox people on Twitter, you're gonna get banned, and that's the justification he used for banning Donnie O'Sullivan for tweeting this and others for tweeting similar things, and then. He bans those who tweeted about the suspensions. He suspended those people as well. Like, it's clearly, yeah. He's clearly just throwing a fit, right? It's not, it's not anything legitimate, right? This account did nothing of the sort. They simply tweeted a police statement from LAPD's threat management say, <clears throat> saying no crime report had yet been filed, nothing nefarious, just reporting the facts. So. It seems like, yeah, Elon Musk does not like that his account of the, of the story is being contradicted, right? Because, like, Elon is making out, making it out to be, like, an assassination attempt. Like, these people are stalking me because they want to literally murder me. And... If that was, if you actually thought that, then the first thing you would do is like notify the authorities, right? That you were being stalked and harassed. And and yeah, if if what Elon is saying here is true, that the the crazy stalker blocked the car from moving and climbed onto the hood again, like. That is, that is threatening. Nothing bad in and of itself, but it's the threat, the, the implied threat. If this happened, that, that would be bad, right? So... So yeah, if... If this, if this did happen, it would be bad. But like, if it did happen, why didn't you call the cops about it? So it seems like that's why they're being banned. Musk plane tracker posts nothing on Tuesday. Oh, they post- wait, they didn't post anything? Musk says stalker incident took place Tuesday night. Video from Musk allegedly showing stalker was filmed nowhere near an airport. LAPD says no one has filed a police report about it as of Tuesday. And yes, this is uh... This is the, uh, just some random Discord guy saying that, uh... Wait, hold on. Did he geolocate the video with features from the video? That's actually pretty impressive. This is like, uh, 4chan levels of, uh, of, uh, investigation, right? Like, using this background, this pro- this image was probably the most useful, right? showing that it was in Los Angeles. Wait, is this not an airport right here? It's a video, it's an airplane, right? Hold on. Okay, so I found this space on Google Maps and yeah, it's right around, right around here, right? It's these coordinates, so it's at this this little bend right here. And I was confused because, like, 
this looks like an airplane and this looks like an airplane. So I was like, are there airports close to here? Well, turns out this is a heliport because this is at a, at a hospital. It's a helipad. Yeah, because, uh, oh, there's a Burger King. Nummy. Huntington Hospital. Yeah. And then there's another heliport somewhere down here. Yeah, so those would not be uh, on the jet tracker. Because LAX is all the way down here. Yep, here it is. Yeah, LAX is way over here, and this alleged attack happened around here in South Pasadena. Right? Ah, see, yeah, this is another... This is a heliport, heliport, heliport. Yeah, it's confusing when there's an image of an airplane at a heliport. You'd think they would have an image of a helicopter, but, uh, guess not. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, currently we only have Musk's word that the plane was followed from an airport. Again, like, this story has a bunch of holes in it, because, like, they're saying that it's the Elon jet tracker that doxed, that doxed the jet and led to this attack. And that, uh, Elon Musk says that he was followed from an airport, but according to him, this car did not contain Elon Musk. It, could, it contained his child, Little X. <laughs> I'll, I'll call him Little X, right? So was Little X on the plane? Maybe he was on the plane, but he and Musk uh, went separate ways in separate cars. And then, yeah, he barely connects the two events because tracking a car is very different from tracking a plane. Yeah. Doxing is, uh, is, yeah, funny word. So all of these suspensions are tied to this tweet reporting it to an LAPD statement, which suggests Musk didn't make any police report about the reported stalking incident puts some doubt whether it happened or happened in the way Musk said. Yeah, seems like, I mean, it would be weird if he made up the, the video just out of, out of whole cloth, like out of scratch, right? Probably, there was probably something happening, especially like with the video that was shown, right? There was like some actual video of some Antifa looking dude, right, in a car. But, um, yeah. This is old data from Elon's jet, so it's okay to share. Yeah, apparently this, this tweet was doing, doing numbers. Yeah, going to Epstein's Island, yeah. Because he says, uh, Elon says, posting locations someone traveled to on a slightly delayed basis isn't doxing, isn't a, isn't a security threat. So, yeah. It, it is canon that Elon hung out on Epstein Island and was perhaps close friends with Jeffrey himself. Funnily enough, this tweet was a uh, fact check. Uh, actually, there is no access by jet. You cannot fly to a uh, directly to the island. Jeffrey Epstein's private plane would fly him to the international airport there. All right. Uh, the billionaires would not fly to the islands on their own private jets. They would take the Lolita Express. I love that. Love that name. Perfect name for the the one way the one way trip to Pedo Island, right? So there's an international airport somewhere around here, not on the island. They would board a helicopter that whisked him to Little St. James and Great St. James's Islands. What is this Great St. James? Which one is the... Eps I, this is Epstein Island, apparently, yeah. 12 trips to this location since 2010. So, like, where is... What is this uh, image coming from? Yeah. Apparently, yeah, he uh, hung out there a lot. Yeah, this is where actual grooming happens, by the way. Right? Like, literal, actual grooming, as in, like, minors being... Uh, being uh, trained to satisfy the, the sick urges, this, the desires of uh, the world's richest men. Right. So yeah. 
so doxing. Oh right, doxing everyone right now. This is what I did before. Oh no, what have I done? I doxed everyone. It's got a lot of things like flying in and out of Florida or around Florida. Let's see, it's like all over the place, really. Yeah. All right, this is a good point. How are you? How much you want to bet this won't include libs of TikTok doc, doxing queer teachers? <laughs> Dick doc. So, the new Twitter policy on open source flight tracking. Under this policy, you can't share it with the following types of private information without the permission of the person whom it belongs to. Live location information, including information shared on Twitter directly, on Twitter directly, or links to third-party URLs of travel routes, actual physical location, or identifying information that would reveal a person's location, regardless of this information is publicly available. So. Yeah, this is Elon trying to make it harder to find the publicly available information about flight tracking information. Yeah, ADS Exchange, ADSB Exchange, which we uh, just uh, looked at before. As we saw that they're run by men of integrity, so they are not going to be taken down, not by anyone. Elon can offer to buy him out for $44 billion. Well, actually, if they if he offered billions of dollars to buy them out, they might say yes, but not going to happen. No. So since Elon can't restrict that information, since like it's publicly available information and he can't uh, do anything about that, he's just trying to make it harder to find. He's trying to shadow ban the information, or just like straight up ban. You can't link to third party URLs of travel routes. That's uh, that's pretty extreme, right? Regardless of this information is publicly available. Yeah, what happened to freedom of speech, right? That's uh, that's weird. I thought Elon was all about free speech, but all of a sudden, now he's not pro free speech. Right wing cries doxing whenever you publicly criticize them, but when they have no problem doxing innocent people when convenient. I claim to be free speech offenders, but are fine banning books, canceling events, and censoring journalists. They are weak, indeed. Yeah, they love playing the victim. Oh, conservatives just love playing the victim card all the time. It's their favorite thing to do. Because, like, they are the oppressors, right? And being the oppressor isn't cool. Or maybe they think it is, but most people tend to like side with the oppressed peoples over the oppressors so they have to make it seem like they are victims somehow of oppression right to make it seem that way anyways yeah as we saw elon musk um right after saying doxing is bad and should be banned literally doxed the person who was allegedly following the car his son was in showing the person's face with the mask covered of course but you know showing the license plate that's a big deal right he's gonna have to get rid of that car now that car is cursed now for all eternity so yeah that's actual doxing so just like always they will cry victim about whatever happens to them make it seem like, you know, they're just going through it right now. And that will justify them doing actual doxing. Right? Because some of them, like, lower down on the information food chain, they actually do believe all the propaganda about them being the victims, right? Which is what enables them to, like, do desperate acts right like actually like support actual doxing right anyways oh yeah good point real-time posting of someone's location via the doxing policy looks like live streaming live tweeting threads and real-time coverage of public events is now illegal on twitter that's a good point yeah how are you going to live stream you yourself walking down the street when you're filming people's 
real-time location. You're literally filming them and then posting it online for everyone to see, right? Those people did not consent to being filmed. Honestly, there is a case to be made there. Because, like, how are you supposed to know if a, the live streamer is actually supposed to follow you or not? Or is trying to follow you or not? I guess it costs $44 billion to get back in the next. Oh, yeah, all this happened because uh, Grimes left him, right? Of course, it, of course, it's Elon's fault that she left, right? Because it uh, seems like she really... Uh, It seems like uh, he he got divorced several times before, right? So he does have a track record when it comes to this. Did you know that you can actually track airplanes using publicly trans available transponder data? It's actually really neat. Track my own flight. Nice. So yeah, planes have to have transponders because you know after the whole 9/11 thing, yeah, you can't just uh, have a have a plane going wherever you want. Live tweeting a public event is fine, but not if you're streaming from a private party or sharing footage of a racist city councilman leaving a council meeting. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Or live streaming movements of police during a protest. Ah, can't be doing that. No, you can't be sharing uh, police data. No, that'll get you in real trouble, right? Posting the location of an adults-only drag show specifically to allow an incite violence group to interrupt it is apparently perfectly fine. Yeah, that's the kind of doxing that right wingers are are in favor of, right? Like, uh, like what was said up here, or did it change? Here it is. Oh no, the the Elon fanboys are out in force now. Yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll we'll cover this later. So yeah, lives of TikTok doxed a lot of people, right? Found a lot of like no name, like very low follower uh, TikTok accounts mostly, and um, just blasted their face all across the uh, the internet. Opened them up to all kinds of harassment, got them fired from their jobs. A lot of them were teachers, right? And the whole you know. They were a very big uh, proponent of the whole uh, the the grooming uh, kids into being gay and trans uh, talking points, right? Libs of TikTok was, and it, it got them fired, it got them harassed. So yeah, and I think Libs of TikTok were were they banned? They were they were suspended for at least a while, but. I'm looking forward to seeing if they do actually uh, get banned for this, because you know they did uh, they did do that, they did do all that, right? Oh yeah, and this is Elon Musk doxing himself. Apparently, they posted my exact real-time location, basically assassination coordinates. Assassination—that's a big word. An obvious direct violation of Twitter terms of service. Well. It's a violation of Twitter Terms of Service now because you changed the TOS to fit your your preferences, your narrative. But this you, this person says, I've been working at Twitter San Francisco HQ all night. We'll be working and sleeping here until the org is fixed. So yeah, it looks like uh, that's a rare self-dox. Oof. Yeah, it does not look good for Elon. Because he and he must be sleeping at Twitter HQ because he must still be sleeping there. This was uh, a month ago, it looks like. He must still be sleeping there because he's not chain, uh, changed much since then. He says, We'll be sleeping here until the org is fixed. It clearly is not fixed yet, so he must have been sleeping at Twitter San Francisco HQ for all this time, all the past month. So, yeah. Oh, this is replying to Eric Fraunhofer, the, the engineer that he fired. Yeah, another example of how he's not a very pro-free speech, right? <laughs> Firing a Twitter engineer for telling them that he's wrong about his uh, techno babble shit, right? So we'll, we'll end with this little funny saga. So, yesterday, 
Elon Musk starts a poll. Unsuspend accounts who dox my exact location in real time. Again, not what happens, but even with this, even with this uh, framing, uh, a majority of people or a plurality said now. Unsuspend the accounts now. Even with all of Elon's simps voting on this uh, poll. Yeah, that's this is uh, where they were voting, right? They were like, nah, keep them banned longer than seven days, but nah. 43% says, you gotta unsuspend these accounts now. And then Elon says, sorry, too many options. We'll redo poll. Literally, stop the count. Stop the counts. <laughs> so, yeah, literally like, oh, I didn't, I don't like the results of this election, so we're going to redo the election. You'll notice here, 535,000 votes on this poll, and then on this poll, just a few hours later, 3.69 nice million votes. And these are the final results. And 58.7% say now. And then 41.3% say in seven days. So I guess longer than seven days is not even an option anymore. But now, the results are definitive. Unsuspend accounts, yeah. Suspending these accounts was like a big deal. <laughs> And Elon says, Twitter right now is fire. It's fuego. Yeah, because everyone is like dunking on you. I bet a lot of people signed on to Twitter just to vote on this poll. I voted on this poll. See this check mark right here? Oh, this is 11.34 p.m. You know, he's working real hard on Twitter, on SpaceX and Tesla. You know, you remember he's still... Uh, he is still technically the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla as well, and turns out, yeah, he is, uh, yeah, turns out he's not doing a very good job as, uh, CEO of those companies either. Yeah, that's crazy. Who would have thought, right? It's, uh, turns out it's really hard being the CEO of three companies at once that do very different things. We're gonna keep voting now. Stop doing polls. Yes, please stop. Bloodborne Gaslighter, Eric. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna keep voting. Just uh, <laughs> so you can you can stop now. I'm glad I uh, got in on this poll while uh, it was still going. Vox Populi, Vox Day. Second poll, second L. Ooh, two big L's in one, in two, in two big polls. Yeah, the Patriots are in control. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't support democracy when it's the answer he doesn't like. Hmm. Just like a certain someone who is very similar to Elon, right? I support free speech, so I'm voting now. I'm joining the war of the woke mind virus on the side of the woke mind virus. Hell yeah. My mind is corrupted with the woke virus myself. Italian Elon Musk, eh, I make the rocket, I buy the Twitter. Just take the L already, dude. Yeah, just like that certain someone, Elon is very bad at taking L's and uh, wants to redo elections that he loses. Anyway, yeah, in conclusion, Trump, Elon, Kanye, all the same, you know, they're all the same. They're all very similar, at least. They... They uh, believe that they're great men of history, but in their uh, in their attempts to prove how great they are, they are proving how inept they are, how dumb they are, and how they should not be anywhere near any levels of power, and they should not have as much wealth as they do. So yeah, I will be talking tomorrow about you know how the whole Twitter Spaces debacle and how Elon was owned in a Twitter space and so we just hit the big red button that says no more Twitter Spaces. So yeah. See you then and look forward to more Elon, Trump, and Kanye L's. See you then.